right, we just got here to Toadstool's trailhead. A Toadalisa. Homeboy wants me to take some pictures for him, so we're gonna help him out. You feel the energy? And since today is Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all the grandmas, all the mothers out there. You rock, today is your day. Good morning everybody, good morning grandmas. It's actually evening here in Arizona. I hope everybody enjoyed the video I put out yesterday. The Avai Carabas video, it was so cool to meet Nick and Heather and Miles and hang out with them and to see their lifestyle and to listen to some of their stories. It honestly was really cool. I do wish them the best on their travels. They are heading west. I am staying here in Arizona, but today we are going to go on a hike, an evening hike. If you didn't already notice, I got me some sunnies, some sunglasses. I picked them up at a yard sale earlier today. 50 cents, five zero. Oh yeah, and my check engine light's on. That just happened. So I'm driving out into the middle of the desert with a check engine light, not fun. And right here it's no filter, but as I saw in the comments, I need to use a bug filter because there's so many bugs on my windshield. And then this crazy crack right here from a rock that hit me. I'm gonna drive, I'm about, I don't know, 20 minutes away from the trailhead. We will catch back up for the vlog. All right, we just got here to Toadstool's trailhead. Not too touristy looking, only one, two, three, four, five, six cars in the parking lot. Tourism level will probably be a minimum here, which will be great. All right, so we have made it. It is actually really windy. We got a nice sign outside of our hike in the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. So the hike is within this national monument. It takes years to build a crust like the one pictured above. So don't bust the crust. Don't bust the crust. The distance is 0.8 miles long one way or 1.6 miles round trip. Total gain is 100 feet. Sandy soils can sap my strength. Little shade on the south facing route. Bring plenty of water where hat cell phone coverage is minimal. They do also have backcountry hiking permits if you want to go backcountry hiking in here and camping and stuff, but we're not gonna do that. So we are beginning the hike. And I have yet to find a backpack or a day pack thrifting that I like. So I'm wearing my Jansport small duffel to carry a little bit of water. I have a headlamp just in case I run into some Japanese tourists or some Chinese tourists that don't have one. I have a selfie stick for them. Cliff bar, a mango, my sunnies. Um, they're definitely women's based on these. Probably gonna pop those off, but I do like them. So that's the Smith logo. I wanna say these suckers would probably be like $60 new. And I probably still could get like 30 or 40 bucks for them on eBay. Unfortunately, as you can see right there, they are made in China, but they actually are still a pretty good quality sunglass. A couple of spare batteries for the camera, some chapstick for these big red beautifuls. I did bring my hiking shoes. This is in Utah, I'm in Utah right now. Mormon country. This is the beginning, the trailhead's just over there. I don't know if you can see my cargo topper. It's about 6.30. We might run out of sunlight today, we might not, but it's such a short hike, I think we're gonna have no issues. It's a cool about 69 degrees summer today. It has been gorgeous. I did get some photography done for some items for eBay that I need to list. I also finished The Leader in You by Dale Carnegie. It was a really good book. I really enjoyed that one. That was the one that I bought when I was in Dubai and I was supposed to finish it last month, but I just finished it today, but it was good. This is kind of cool, I'm like in a wash. I think that's what it's called, a wash. This is actually a really cool hike, check it out. Like, we don't have this kind of stuff in Florida. You probably don't have this kind of stuff where you're from, unless you're from Utah. But back to Dale Carnegie, I really did like the book. I do recommend that one for anybody. Some big takeaways, don't worry about stuff that's out of your control. If it's like a 1% chance of something bad happening, there's not a reason to worry about it. Enthusiasm is very important in anything that you do. And if you're not enthusiastic for it, try finding something that you are enthusiastic for. I'm not a geologist, but there are a lot of rocks out here. Look how square these chunks that are like falling off. It's like so angular, the chunks. Ooh, that's kind of warm. Must have retained it heat throughout the day. But look how square it is. It's like a very angular, very square, square chunks, square chunks everywhere, right angles. Very interesting. This is like the erosive sandstone stuff. Check out all these layers. This is like hundreds of layers. This is kind of sketch. It's like along the side of the mountain or I could fall to my death down there. Just if you're looking down, you can kind of just see where the trail goes and you find these brown signs every once in a while to let you know you're still on the trail. There is greenery, shrubbery, 
lots of greenery. Oh, there's some cactus. We found some cactus. Look at that, cactus. Cactus. Cactus doesn't hurt cameras. Is there such thing as a trail being too well marked? Marker there, literally a marker 10 yards that way, and then a marker 10 yards behind that way. I don't know how someone would get lost here. It's like you're just kind of staying. You're staying in between that, and you're staying in between that, and you're good to go. And sadly, we do have some graffiti all these markers are literally just like stuck in the ground. And they do have these plants. I think these are yucca plants. Yucca, 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 yucca. Uh, I think we found the toadstools. Looks nothing like Mario. I actually think they're called hoodoos, is the proper term. All right, they definitely look toadstooly. Some sort of iron ore at the top, and during erosion, it erodes the sides, but the piece of iron ore stays on top, and it creates this structure, so. I guess it only is created when there's a piece of iron ore on top. Compresses it a certain way, erodes a certain way, but that's how it works, I think. But yeah, they are pretty. They're interesting. Look at that. It's a toadstool. And I know you guys want to see where I'm van camping tonight. I don't even think it's going to be light out by the time I get there, so I might have to show you guys in the morning. But I'm still going to show it at the end of this video. So here we have Princess Toadstool. Over here we have the Toadstool Plebeians. It looks like you can see some of them have fallen over the years, that would do some damage to you right there. That thing's actually really big. I don't know how I can show it to scale. Yeah, that guy definitely could do some damage. He's pretty big and heavy. A Totalisa, it's either eroding or kids are messing with it. I don't know, but it's gonna fall one day. You're gonna fall one day. So the base of the stool is made out of a sandstone. This is very uh, conducive to erosion because it's co just compressed sand, as you can see. There's parts flaking off. And then this was on the top, but has cracked and fell off. This is actually really, really heavy. Um, so what I'm told is this is like some sort of iron ore or some, and that cracked off of that. And this one's actually not that big. And then here is the toadstool graveyard, as you can see. They're like very itty bitty stubs with the very heavy rock that's either compressed and eroded all the way away or fallen. I think it just like eroded, just like shrank down because there's still like a little bit. The ones that have toadstooled no more. Someone's getting hippie with these toadstools. We're gonna have to break that hippie up. So toadstools there. I am in this echoey, there is a bit of an echo, cliff part. These are either ancient petroglyphs or this is graffiti. I'm thinking it's graffiti. Hey, somebody wrote my name. E-R, no, E-I-R-C. Probably some weird German name, E-I-N-C or something. We have found the graffiti holes. See an F word, Paul. But yeah, this is pretty massive, expensive, it's cool. And if you guys haven't already, please, subscribe do it and i literally just like wrote that in the sand so yeah nobody get mad at me it's not like i'm carving onto the walls all you have to do is add two circles and then what does that look like to you right and this one is by far the coolest toadstool just the way that it's balanced there's like barely anything holding it there homeboy wants me to take some pictures for him so we're gonna help him out I've never seen one this complicated. Just press it. Just press it three times. Three times. All right, and then this is this is for security. How much is this camera? Huh? A lot? Uh, 10,000? Whoa, look at that. Three more? You feel the energy? Yeah. Toadstool energy. I don't know if it was in focus. Automatic focus? Wow, this thing's so heavy. All right, one more time, there was no memory card in there. This thing has to weigh like five pounds. In the midnight, 12 o'clock, they got a galaxy in there, Milky Way, I take a picture. At midnight? Yeah. The moon? No, no, Milky Way. Oh, Milky Way. Yeah. Here? Yeah. You go, are you gonna sleep out here? Uh, I stay in my car. Uh, and then come outside during the nighttime? Yeah. Yeah, good idea. All right, cool. Uh, here's a farther picture of what we just, oh wow. We're actually getting a pretty sunset. Look at these colors, some oranges and yellows and blues. This is actually really, really pretty. It's gonna be a bold statement, but I'm gonna recommend coming out here at dusk 
because it's just pretty. The way the sun falls over the mountains, we got some clouds, so we got some colors, but it actually falls really nice on the hoodoos, the toadstools. We got the big toadstool, we got the other toadstools, and then the toadstool graveyards were over there. All in all, it's a pretty easy hike. You don't really need any hiking shoes. If you come out in the evening or in the morning, you're not really gonna need water unless it's blistering hot. Really easy hike, can do it in sandals. Easily accessible, very short. Um, tourism level is like a one out of 10. I've only seen a couple other people out here and it's got a way different vibe, more peaceful vibe rather than a beehive vibe of horseshoe bend. In that aspect, it's a lot better. I hope you enjoyed the hike. Thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments, I'd love to hear them. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I'll show you guys where I slept tonight. Bye. Yeah, here's the van. It's entirely too dark to see. You can kind of see the cargo topper. All right, who stuck around to the end of the video? Who wants to see where I slept? It's pretty nice, eh?